Well, guys, we're just getting ready to pull up into the old kind of farm of ours, I guess I could say. We we're kind of cleaning it out for today. It's kind of our last day with this farm, really. And then we get to move on over to our shed from full on. So, guys, before we get into the video, it would really help me if you guys went down, hit the like button, subscribed, hit the bell notification. After you subscribe, you'll be notified when you get the best farm sim content uploaded from my channel. Also, comment down what you guys thought of the video, and then also share the video to your other friends. It really helped me out. So, yeah, guys, rather else than that. Let's get right in the video. So we have a lot to move around and then we're planting. So we have this trailer. We got this trailer, which we need to dump off and bring back to Kurt. We have this we need to bring back. Well, we moved it yesterday. So we planted, it was the 15th, it's now the uh, 17th. I decided to move, do some moving around yesterday. I didn't do a lot. I just moved stuff over here for the day. That's all I did. It started raining after I got stuff moved over here. We gotta get this trailer all unloaded and brought back to Kurt. Then we need to get this all loaded up and bring it over to the new shed and uh, let's get it stacked up inside the little pallet things. If we can't, I don't know if they'll fit. Well, some of them should fit, I'm assuming, but I'm not for sure. We need to get them in like our order. So we have our grass right here. No, it's not our grass. This is our corn. No, this is our grass, actually. This is our grass. This is our corn, soybeans, and this is our corn. We did more, we're doing more corn than soybeans this year. We're only doing one big field of soybeans and then four fields of corn, I believe. I think that is what it is. We did one here. Yeah, we're doing four fields of corn, one big field of soybeans. Pretty big day. Uh, we need to, we should first go dump this over in our yard, really. So I think actually later today, we are going to plant on stream and if we get all of our fields done that i want done for now we'll go plant other fields for with corn make some money easy peasy we need to get a mower a big big old mower we need to get that pressure washer moved too we can dump this i'm not for sure we can dump this hmm we'll just dump it right here we'll be fine here let's let it dump i want to dump it all in one pile really we'll move as we go get it all unloaded and then we'll use this for our driveway Kurt was calling me yesterday and he's like, hey, I need that trailer back soon. So I was like, okay. I just had a lot going on. I just told him and he's like, all right, that's fine. Just bring it back sometime this week. I'm like, okay, sounds good to me. So we'll bring this trailer back now. But uh, yeah, so news on the third gen. Uh, found out the motor was blown just recently. Just kind of sad. Um, I was pretty devastated to hear that. Actually, we're not going to bring this trailer up there and out. But yeah, so I found the motor's blown up in that. It's kind of sad. That truck was really nice. But I'm not going to buy a truck with a blown motor, so screw that. I, myself, really do not feel like wasting a bunch of money on a... Why don't you move this? I, myself, really feel like not wasting my money on a truck that has a blown motor. He was offering like eight grand for the truck without the motor. So what's the point of doing all the work or buying a truck for eight grand and then having to buy a whole new motor? You know, it's just a bunch of messed around stuff, really. Don't really want to deal with that at the moment. I already have enough diesel equipment to deal with. So we'll get our corn pallets in the front and then we'll stack our soybeans on the top and then we will uh we, and then we will put our grass behind it so we know what's what we're really done with our grass for the year unless we're gonna do more grass which i'm not planning on doing any more grass this year so i'm talking to the banker a little bit i'm thinking about buying these two fields over here as well i'm just thinking why not really at this point i really don't see a problem with it actually we're not gonna be able to stack that well actually yeah we can stack that soybeans on top of the full corn one but the, f the guy, you know, just why not? You know, I'm going to have more, you know, it'll be better land, you know. So soon we're going to actually process the bind of that. And then I'm hoping it's going to be plowed. That's what I'm hoping for. Soybeans, I believe. But I'm wanting to get that all processed out so then we can have more fields. We'll have actually surrounding fields to do than just that one field. That's what I'm hoping for, though. These are bigger fields, I believe, than those all four of those fields combined. So I'm thinking about backing out today and talking to the uh, farmer and be like, I want to just... Buy another piece of land instead and i can rent these two out really and call out that kurt actually called me this morning he's doing some problems with this truck already that 17 forward and he's like hey man i know i mean i know you know more about diesel trucks than i do but i'm having a problem with my truck and he's like you come check it out and i don't know what's wrong with it he's saying something about his death system so i don't know i was surprised he doesn't have it even deleted i would think you'd have it deleted by now i don't know it's Kurt. Kurt's somewhat a smart cookie, but, like, I don't know. I mean, Kurt's smart in a way. Kurt's just... Kurt's just Kurt, really. He does what he wants. He's always done the same thing with his... He had a 2002 Silverado. And I remember him always just doing stupid stuff with that truck. He'd go around doing donuts in the wintertime. He actually blew up his transmission in the wintertime. We were, like, 17. And I remember I had, like, a... I can't remember what I had exactly... It was a while ago. I had an 04 Silverado. And you had an 02. Strapped these quickly. Like I was saying though. Yeah, he blew up a transmission. And he's like, well, I understand you got you got the bigger transmission than mine. I'm wanting to put that in my truck. How much would you want to pay for it? I'm like, all right. 
I'll give you a good price. So I found another four. It's a four L80 transmission, I remember. And I remember I sold a mine and put that one in because my transmission was kind of gone anyway. I kind of screwed them over. I felt bad, but I was like, well, I'm needing a new one anyway. And mine's not that terrible. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. But it was a it was a good truck. I love that truck. I'd love to get that truck back someday. It's dark metallic gray, extended cab Z71. Just had the stock interior. Didn't have it had the Z71. It had like the middle console. I just love that truck. That truck was so cool. Well, here we are. Let's get these all stacked up. Hoping this will work. I'm waiting for that gravel not to be a lot. I'm waiting just to not for it to work, and I'm about to sell it, which I would to be honest if I didn't have a, enough. It costs like two grand just to get the two trailers I got. So I don't know. I don't really want to spend that much more money just on this whole gravel plot really maybe i'll just keep it for uh, our farmhouse or something i don't know that's our soybeans no, this is our corn in that case we'll grab our other corn now so i'm gonna talk to bo in a few days but bo was as you guys know or know in the last video bo was offering me some money i guess he didn't hear but he's offering me some money for the this tractor he wants an oliver he was like yeah man we could do a trade or we can do a i can buy it out straight up i'm like well i don't know i don't honestly know what i wanted to do with it at the time I still don't really know why. I want to keep it, but like, if he's offering me like a trade for a 40-20 or 50-20, he has one of the two. I cannot remember what he has exactly. But either way, think of that, you know? That's a pretty good trade-off. Maybe I'll talk to him and see what he has. If he has something pretty interesting that I like, then maybe, maybe me and him will work something out. Because I know he has, he has a 44-40, he has a 40-20... He's got two pretty good classic tractors. I mean, a 4440 would be pretty cool to have on the farm. I will. That's undoubtedly one of the coolest things to have on the farm. Nothing wrong with an old 4440. Nothing wrong at all with a 4440. I will say that. That's for sure. If he does have a 4440, it's most likely that he does have a cab on the truck. It's or the tractor, I should say itself. Because all the 4440s I see around here have cabs. There's like four farms that have 4440s. And you would expect them to not have them, but they they got to have them. There's no way. There we go. And we are all done with that. We're going to reorganize this shop so we can have a little more of move or not movement, but more of a little bit more flotation in it. So I believe we're going to set these both over more of over here-ish, I think. Yeah, like right, not right here. This is a little too. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then we can set the planter in front of that, and then we can, whenever we get our new combine, which I'm working something out right now at the moment, for another comp, for not another, but a new combine. So if we get a new combine worked out, we can park it in front of like here with our header. Uh, I'm not for sure what we're going to do. I think we're just going to buy a corn header, and then later on we're down the road we're going to buy a bean header. We well, just got a call from the uh, dealer, and they had a Kilobros. Uh, they had a Kilobros gravity wagon come in, and they are taking 64% off of it for like a like one of their really nice ones. It took 64% off since it was used, and I just bought it, so I'm going down there sometime later today to pick it up. I think. I guess he did say later this week I can I can grab it, so or I can drop it off. So I guess really we just have that trailer. And that's it. So I might go grab that trailer or that uh, gravity wagon. We needed one. I just saw it, or I just got a call about it. So like you know what, let's go get it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Go get it. And then we're going to drive that thing up to the uh, Bennett's, get our tractor, and we're going to plant a little corn. And we should be good from there. I cannot believe I just bought a Kilbro's gravity wagon, but you know what happens. It popped out of nowhere, so oh well. I think we're only going to get one for our first year. We don't need two. We don't really need two. If we really need two, we'll get two, but we're not going to need two. There it is, sitting outside. The only way I can see us needing two is if we have a lot of grain. So probably next year we're going to have to buy another one. Let's go uh, put our pintle hitch on here quickly. They got the tools. All right, that didn't take long, but we'll hook up to that. And we'll go inside sign paperwork. All right, let's go inside sign these papers. How's it going, Tony? All right, well, five grand later, we're done. We got the trailer. So we're going to ride this up to Bennett's and get planting. Man, this is a nice trailer. This is not bad for our, for our first one. Model 300, made out of Delplos. Ohio. I'm probably saying that really wrong, but oh well. Well, let's get going. We can't just be sitting around all day buying stuff. I cannot believe we just actually bought this. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. Like I said, we been needing one, so we got some off the list now. Next is just a combine and a corn head. That's it. If you guys are so far enjoying this video, it'd really help me out if you guys went down. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Also, when you do get notified, you get notified for the best farm sim videos on YouTube. And also, Comment down what you guys thought, and also share. It really helped me out. So, yeah, guys, thank you. You're just getting closer and closer to this farm. We're gonna destroy our. We are going to destroy our.
planter because there's all rocks in all these fields. But I'm, they're not really big that big of rocks. So I, I, I think we'll be fine, but we'll be all right. Quite a bit in that field. I don't know what field we're going to do first. I think we're just going to do this far back one. And then we need to get a fertilizer. Or we need to get a sprayer next, or not next, but this summer. And fertilize our fields because we don't have any fertilizer in our plantar. Yeah, so we are finally planting. I think we're just going to rent these fields for the year and then next year we're just going to cut off the deal. I don't really want to keep leasing fields I don't really want. These are not bad fields, but those big fields next to the next to the farm will be really good instead of getting these fields. And then we'll just plant up and down, up and down, up and down. That's all we're going to do. If these guys really do come in, come in break with these fields, like they give, give me a pretty big discount for these fields. If it's under 100k, I think I'll buy these four fields instead. But like I was saying, yeah, I think what we're going to do is just... If these people cut us a pretty big deal or a pretty big break from... uh, Like cut us some slack for these fields. I think instead we'll just buy these fields. Yeah, they're more farther north, but like... I don't know. I want these fields. I want these fields, but like if we got bigger... Bigger one-piece fields, you know, that'd be a lot better for us. I'm thinking about just buying both, to be honest with you. I think I'm just taking the risk and just buying both. Honestly. Don't think it would be a terrible idea to buy both. Really. Buy those fields, buy this field, have these fields. I don't think it would be a bad bad deal at all. I think these guys are also wanting to pay monthly, not... Um... Like, weekly. Or not weekly. Um... They want to like me to pay monthly. Not, like, just one big payment at once. Really. So, I mean, if they do that, then perfect. You know, I'll do that instead. I'd honestly rather do that than paying... Than just paying out... And one. Then it's kind of cutting a break from the bank and everything. Well, I said at least some money to buy this field, but or buy these fields, but I'd still take it. I know I said I was gonna do planting in this in the stream today. If we do stream, I just want to get one planted just in case. If we if I do not stream, I'm honestly not sure what's gonna go on. Uh, Sunday, I might be busy Sunday, so I'm gonna be able to stream till later. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Uh, and then we could do. We'll do these two fields on stream, and then like next month in May, we will do that big field for soybeans. And that'll be our big soybean field. What's gonna suck about doing soybeans though is that I'm gonna have to do all the corn and then come back up here and swap the soybeans. That's just gonna suck. So I guess let's park this back here. We're just getting one field knocked out today, or not today, but just in general. We're just getting these two big fields, or this one field done and then we get the other two fields knocked out today or tomorrow whenever i sh whenever i uh if i decide to just wait until tomorrow and then streaming streaming the next day if i do it on the same day i'm not for sure I might as well run the tractor down to uh the shop just to refill the seed up with soybeans when i'm done and then put in soybean or i meant corn get this corn seeds out and then put in soybean seeds so i probably should do well other than that We'll just have to run home and put that away, and we're really done for the day, really. There's really nothing else to do. Got everything to take care of. I woke up by 6, and it's been like this since 6, so that's awesome. I'm loving this. It's hopping. Let's get going. I'm sure we can drop off that uh, thing to the cart, that uh, dump trailer. You know, I consider taking off these mirrors to put on tow mirrors, but at the same time, I'm so glad I don't have those on. Those, are, those in my opinion, look so ugly. I'm glad with the old grandpa style over the... Uh, I could put the old-fashioned ones on they got, but eh. I don't really need to. These ones I have on do the job now, so that's good. I'm kind of thinking that this year we're not even going to get our house built. I'm having a feeling we're going to have to sell our crop and pay up. I'm not for sure, though. We're going to figure it out, that's for sure. I'd rather just keep paying off the loan, little by little, and then when we get uh, more money for selling our crop, we can actually... Well, we'll build in the wintertime do, like, uh, tillage, so that'll be nice. I'm going to get this dump trailer off and put it on my piece of land and then be done with it. Not for sure where this is going to go. I think we'll just pull it over here for now. There we go. All done. So guys, I really think that's it for today's video. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be short or long. I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm not for sure though. Hopefully it's going to be pretty long. I want lengthier videos. I'm trying to my best to get lengthier videos out. Because I've been like releasing 10 minute videos. That's it. I'm trying to get lengthier videos. But uh, I don't like doing too much on a video. Because I don't want the video to be 40 minutes long. But I don't want to go too short where it's like only like seven minutes long. I'm trying to be that bit in between. I think I'm doing pretty good with timing. But if you guys did enjoy the video, it really helped me out. If you guys went down, 
hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. When you hit the bell for notification, you will be notified when the best farms and videos come out. And you guys can also go down and comment down when you guys saw the video. And also, you guys can also share the video out to other friends. It really helped me out. So, hey guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.